To draw the Lewis dot structure for CO, this is carbon monoxide, the first thing we need to do is count the valence electrons up. So if you look at the periodic table here, group one has one, two, we skip the transition metals, three, and here's carbon. So carbon is going to have four valence electrons. So we have four valence electrons for carbon. And then over here in group 16, sometimes called 6A, oxygen has six valence electrons. Add them up, we have a total of 10 valence electrons for the CO Lewis structure. We'll start by putting the carbon here and then the oxygen. So we have 10 total valence electrons. Let's put two between atoms. That'll form our chemical bond. Then we can go around and complete the octets on the other elements. So we have 10 total valence electrons. We've used six, eight, and then let's just put two on the carbon here. And we've used all 10 valence electrons. You can see that the oxygen, that has eight. It has an octet. But the carbon, it only has four. So that's a problem. What we can do with Lewis structures is we can share more electrons. So let's take these two right here and put them between the carbon and the oxygen. So now we have a double bond. For the oxygen, we have eight valence electrons. For the carbon, we have six. So it's a little bit better. Next, we can take and put another two in the center here. So now we have eight still for the oxygen, but the carbon, it has eight. So this triple bond, we fulfilled the octet for both the oxygen and the carbon. Let me move these up here just for symmetry's sake. And this is the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide. Sometimes you'll see it drawn with these three pairs of electrons as lines like this. If we look at the molecular geometry for CO, here's carbon black, oxygen is red, you'll see that since we only have two molecules, it'll be linear. Keep in mind, we'd also have these electrons, these unbonded electrons on the end. Our bond angle here would be 180 degrees. If you wanted to look at the hybridization of the carbon here, since it's only attached to this oxygen here and then this lone pair, two things, we would have SP hybridization for the carbon here and carbon monoxide. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for carbon monoxide, CO. Thanks for watching.